All right. Hopefully. <laughs> I have figured this out. I've been trying to go live all morning using different platforms because I want to be able to share your sc share my screen to be able to show you how I've been able in just about 30 days to make about $1,000 on Fiverr. Um, again, I'm so sorry for the debacles I've had. I've tried to go live a couple of times, but I really had to have the ability to share my screen. Um, so that I can show you the ins and outs of what it is that I've done, explain what it is that I've done, and have you basically firmly understand what it is that I've done. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen. And uh, let's just, uh, let me take a look here at what, what it I've is got that I've going done. on. So, so, and thanks so much for watching. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, so let's go to my Fiverr uh, screen, which is the back office of Fiverr here for me. And um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this a bit and see if that uh, does a little bit better since I now have the ability to share my screen. All right. So what we want to share, there it is. We want to share that. And so hopefully that is ex you hopefully at this point, what you are seeing is my Fiverr screen. So <laughs> let's just take a look over on YouTube and just double check to see what you guys are actually seeing. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to share I've my screen. This, this is so crazy, but it is such valuable information that I'm trying to share with you right now. It's not even funny um, to really get you going and get you not just motivated, but give you some things that are actually going to work for you, um, especially those that are looking to build out something on Fiverr. I want to give you what it is that I have actually done um, in about the past 30 days uh, to actually get this thing going in a manner that is actually producing results for me pretty much on a consistent basis. Um, you know, a couple times a week. And so what I'm going to be sharing here, so hopefully by now you're, you're seeing my screen here and I'm just kind of making sure that uh, I have all of this going correctly here, which it appears that I do, but this makes it a bit difficult because I want to make sure that I am, ah, there it is, the screen switched over again. So I'm going to have to go back to over here. Sorry about that. This is just what happens. What I'm trying to do is trying to be able to see not only what it is that I'm showing you, but also see your comments as well. So what I'm going to have to do is pretty much ignore your comments and um, just go right into content here. So again, I apologize, but I really wanted to do this in the best way possible to kind of show you what I've done. So you can see right here on my screen, I'm being full, it's full disclosure, being completely transparent right now in regards to what I've been able to do. Um, now you can also see like my earnings and how much I've earned in December. And also you see my average selling price, which this is a big deal on Fiverr. And this is only with 13 orders completed, right? In the past 30 days, completed 13 orders earned um, this month. I had one order canceled. That was a mistake on the buyer's part. For However, whatever reason they did, they clicked twice to purchase. So um, I had a canceled order, but that didn't doesn't affect my rating at this point. And at the level that I'm at right now in Fiverr, I'm at no level. There is no level here. Um, I'm getting to the point where I will be a level one seller on Fiverr. Um, next week, I think it's up that I'll be able to earn my level one badge, if you want to call it that, and then have to continue to go. Now to get to... Um, let's just go here and you can see what my um, response rates have been. Order completion, I'm at a 93% because I had one canceled order. I've delivered all of my orders on time. I have all five-star ratings um, and I'll have be, been a member of Fiverr for 60 days come uh, next week. I've had 10 orders. Well, this is what it has to be. You have to complete 10 orders in 60 days and you have to make over $400 in earnings in those 60 days and no warnings in 30 days. And so you can see I've got my five-star ratings all across the board. Every last one is a five-star rating in there. I've done orders obviously in America, the UK, and I just completed an order in Australia. 
So you see all of that. Now, if I go over to my gigs page and you can see I've got three gigs, but my best one here or the one that I push the most is for the business that I'm trying to develop for authors. And that's one of the key things about this. I created a business to service a very particular group of folks. So you can see I've had over 5,000 impressions, 118 clicks, five orders. I did get one order on this gig, which is pretty much the same as the book trailer, uh, but it's basically for video and commercials as well. And so let's just dig in here a little bit. We can preview the gig. And you see, I've got my video there. I've got different packages. My basic package starts at $60. My standard package is 100. My premium package is 200. The only difference is in these are the, 30, uh, the $60 package is only for 30 seconds. The $100 package is for 35 to 60 seconds. The platinum package, which is 200, is for 65 to 90 seconds. Um, uh, so you can go through and see all the stuff. But the big thing is I've got my frequently asked questions section, like what will my book trailer look like? Can you provide pictures and video clips for me? Um, when any or all, uh, will any, and any and all, it should be and all copyright issues for the materials used in the trailer be legal for me to use? Um, do you provide voiceover? What genre of books do you create book trailers for? And how many words are in a 30 second or 45 second trailer? Because that's important for them to know. And then we've got my, um, my ratings here and testimonials. So how did I go about doing all of this, right? How is it that, and let's go back to the um, analytics page. And this is all full disclosure. This is within the last about 30 days. And what's funny about this gig is that I created this gig about 60 days, not this gig. I created this new Fiverr profile about 60 days ago, but didn't do anything with it really. And you can see October, there was like one. And so, but I didn't start ramping up until November. And you can see that. And I created this profile, not really knowing what I was going to do with it. As a matter of fact, my username is spelled wrong, you know, all of that good kind of stuff because I didn't really know what it was I was going to use it for. But none of that even mattered that my username um, was what it is. And you can take a look. If I go to my profile on the page, you can see like create a new life. I spelled new wrong. I was going to use this for something else. That's why I came up with that username. But I didn't use it. I didn't even take a look at what it was. I didn't know what it was that I was going to do. But when I decided what I was going to do, which I want to take you through that process of all of that, when I decided what I was going to do, that's when things started to happen. So let's talk about my process. And let's talk about how in just about 30 days, I've made just under $1,000, like $925 with one gig um, as a non-seller, as not, not even a rated seller on Fiverr. What did I do? All right, so let me uh, stop sharing my screen and we'll just go back to my lovely face here. Now, and now since, I've, since I'm done sharing my screen, I can actually go over and look at you guys' comments uh that you have coming in on this so let's do that before i get into because you got i want to make sure that i'm looking at the comments uh if i can while they are coming in yep it's saying live now so this is all good all right so if you're in here watching me now give me a shout out uh because i can definitely see now um what's going on on my live stream all right my process I wanted to show you all of that and have full disclosure. Good morning, Drandy MCD and have full disclosure on what I've done because I think it matters. I'm showing you the beginning of my process, the beginning of my journey, creating something on Fiverr from scratch, from nothing it is. And I, I thought it pertinent and important to be able to show you this. What I did was, is I created a business, which I had done before that was to service a very particular group of people, which are authors. Those authors, obviously they're an author, they've written a book and they need a way many times or all the time to promote the books that they have. One of the ways that 
they do that is by creating book trailers and creating different videos. <laughs> Ronald, yeah, right. Lovely face, right? Good morning, Storm and Mohammed. So I said, I've gotten and I've developed this audience with the help of, you know, some of my friends. I've developed this audience of authors. And you guys probably have heard me say that if you don't have an audience, if you don't have a following, you don't have a business. And that's very true. You've got to somehow develop an audience, especially moving into the future for the products and services that you sell. So what I did was I went to a conference last week, uh, last week, last month, November 2nd. I took a trip down to Mississippi and I was um, one of the keynote speakers at a conference down there and it was authors that were there. And I met a bunch of them. I, you know, we friended each other on Facebook. Uh, what's up, Chris, down in Australia? <laughs> All right. The last book trailer I just did um, was for an author in Australia. Crazy. Um, which I just delivered yesterday. So made friends. They have friends. So when I got back from that conference, because I had developed this core group of people that now knew me and they had known of me before before the conference believe me this didn't just happen because i went to a conference and spoke they they've known of me before and i started this whole book trailer thing about a year ago so and i you know had been getting jobs and stuff like that but after that i came and i created this this was back on again this conference was november 2nd right so i came back and i created a fi i created a fiverr gig specifically for book trailers. And if you go to fiverr.com right now and you do a search for book trailer, I'm actually in the top row. At least I was yesterday. I, sometimes I show up as number one. Um, and that's only because I've been getting so many orders consistently. And there's a couple other reasons and I'll dive into that as well. So what I did was, is I created my Fiverr gig. But along with creating the Fiverr gig, I created a landing page on my website I think I'm going to show you guys this because I think that'll be pertinent um, as well for you to see. So let me go to my um, my website. It's probookpromo.com is the link. And let me go back over here and let me share my screen once again so that you can see that. All right. And we want to share this and we want to share. All right. So this is the website. Um, or the landing page, rather. Um, it's a landing page because there's no links at the top. See, there's no links. All they can do is go here. I don't want them surfing around. So what I did on the landing page is I came here, you know, I created a little video. Hello, and welcome to this gig. Okay, so there's a little video. And this is actually the same video that I use on my Fiverr gig. Same exact video, except it says exclusively on Fiverr um, up here in the top right section. Then what I have is I have examples of all the book trailers, not all, but some of the book trailers I can constitute as some of the best. And I probably need to change that again. And they have the ability to click to go order their book trailer. I've got testimonials. And basically what I do is I take those testimonials off of Fiverr and I just put them on this landing page so that people can see them um, and see what people are saying. And then I go into the book trailer pricing. I need to change this because it's not 45. Now it's 60. So I need to change that, right? I do have this correct package and this correct package. But you can see everything that you need to send. And this is basically everything that's in the Fiverr gig, right? It's everything that's in the Fiverr gig. But when I send people or authors, I send them to my website. I even have the same frequently asked questions that were on Fiverr. I have them here. I even have another trailer um, or another video at the bottom. It's, you know, that shows you. Hey, guys, it so I just process. finished recording a brand new book trailer. So this is, you know, I take them through and you're able to see exactly how I made this book trailer, my creative process. It says here the process took an hour and 43 minutes to complete. This video, however, is only about 20 minutes long because I just basically made some parts go faster than others. And you see that, but they're able to see everything right here on this landing page 
before they even get to that. So how did I use this landing page to generate the orders? So when I did content on social media and talked about, you know, and telling people to go to probookpromo.com, you can see that's not the actual web address. This is the web address, but I have, I basically bought the domain probookpromo.com and I had it forwarded to this web address because I wanted a slick name uh, to be able to promote. So everything is on this page. Everything is on this page for people to see and to determine. I mean, all these examples are playable. Get the book. All of these examples are playable. All of them. Get the book so they can play each one and they can get an idea of what it is that I'm able to do. Now, when they're ready to buy, <laughs> here's what's slick. When they're ready to buy, they're going to click here. And what does it do? It takes them to my Fiverr gig. It takes them directly to the Fiverr gig. And again, the same things are here. Here's the same video, except it says here exclusively on Fiverr, because you got to have that on Fiverr, right? And then you can go through and look at all of my examples. Like this is the latest 30 second video or 40, 30 second book trailer that I did. I'll let you hear it. Emma McQueen is the author of the book, Go Getter. In the book, Emma reveals how successful women manage to break the glass ceiling, get paid their worth, grow their businesses, and rock their personal lives. Hell yes, you can have it all. Want more energy, confidence, and financial freedom? Get the book, Go Getter, by Emma McQueen. Available on Amazon February 2020 in paperback and Kindle. All right, so now you're able to, you're able to hear and see what other people see as far as my examples and, you know, as far as the book trailers that I've done. So now back to my process. So you've seen how it is that I created a landing page to drive people directly to my Fiverr gig, right? So you see and understand that. Now, here's the reason why I did that. I was no level seller on Fiverr. Fiverr is nothing more than a order completion tool for me. That's it. It's an order completion tool. So I use it to complete my orders. Now here's the method to my madness, right? Every person, almost every person that ordered my gig, ordered it on Fiverr because that's the, that was the funnel. That was the process for them to do it. I had two orders that I fulfilled off of Fiverr only because people were having trouble signing up on Fiverr or whatever. And they were, I hate to say it, but uh, more seasoned people um, of age. Uh, so they didn't quite understand the technology and that was fine. So because I had them go to my website, they were able to contact me about what it is that I do, right? Because you can't, they can't contact you on Fiverr except through, you know, text communication or instant message communication. So that's another reason our method to my madness for wanting to send people to my landing page and then to Fiverr. Here's the other thing. Fiverr rewards you for bringing traffic. Fiverr rewards you for bringing people to Fiverr. And that's why my gig shows up the way that it does. I want to share my screen one more time here because um, I think this is important as well. So let's do another screen share. And here we go. We're going to share that. So here's the thing. All right. So if I switch to buying as opposed to selling. All right. So now we're on the Fiverr page, right? All right. So if I do a, a search for book trailer and you can do this yourself, do a search for book trailer. Now, mine used to show up. It was in the first row. Now it's not. Fiverr is always going to change that up. They've been giving me a lot of love, but right now I'm not even sure. It's not even showing me on the first page, which this is the first day that I've ever looked in the past like week that I wasn't on the first page. Um, let's see if anything as far as book promotion. Nope. It's not there. See, I can't even brag now, but this is the finickiness of Fiverr. I'm going to do something else here and type in book trailer is one word, um, but it's actually two words and I don't show up there. And let's type it in as two words. 
nope, my gig is not even showing on the first page anymore. So Fiverr has given me, I guess they feel like they've given me enough love um, so far, but it'll switch up. It'll change from time to time as far as where you show up on Fiverr. So I was completely glad and honored that they did put me on the first page uh, for some days, literally for some days. I'm not even showing up on the second page now. Um, so you guys can take a look and see how where I'm showing up for you. But here's the point. Because I was sending so much traffic to Fiverr, they were there was a reward there. So here and again, I'll probably start doing some more promotion today on Facebook and other places for authors and to get them to take a look at my, you know, book trailer gig for that. If I did not have an audience, if I did not have people that were following me on social media, um, and particularly Facebook and some other places, um, I would not have been able to start my gig with orders ready to go. And that's what happened. There were like seven or eight orders that came in by my own efforts. They didn't find me on Fiverr. They found me on Facebook. They found me, oh, fourth column down. Oh, Brian officer. Okay. All right. Um, Brian says, I just did the search and you were on the first page. See, and it shows up in different areas because you just saw it wasn't for me. On my, when I did the search, it wasn't there, but Brian did the search. Someone else do a search. If you're just go to fiverr.com, do a search for book trailer, two words, and tell me in the comments here where it is that I show up. If you'll do that for me, I definitely appreciate it. All right. So now I didn't build my Fiverr presence by just using Fiverr. I built my Fiverr presence by using an audience that I had already to drive them to Fiverr. Because that happened, I started getting orders on my own behalf. No orders came in from Fiverr and Fiverr rewarded me for that. Now, here's the other thing. Last week, three orders up until actually last week, up until yesterday. So between Thursday and yesterday, three orders from people that found me on Fiverr. They weren't in my base. They weren't in my following or anything on social media. But because I would brought this stuff, my gig showed up, right? And so people purchased that gig. Three different orders from people that, that found me on Fiverr. Oh, thank you, Vaughn. You say, she's saying you're the first page for me as well. Why don't I get that love? Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for checking that out. I appreciate it. But that's how I got there. I took an audience that I have online. Uh, Barry saying you showed up as the second person on the first row. Awesome. So Fiverr is giving me now. Rem please remember, I have no rating on Fiverr. I'm not a level one. I'm not a level two. I'm not a top rated seller. I just started. And this is how I build. This is how I'm building that profile. Now, from time to time, what I want to do, because I want to show you this journey, I'm going to show you and continue to talk about the things that I'm doing in order to build that Fiverr presence. Now, here's the thing. Why did I do that? Why did I set up a Fiverr gig as opposed to just taking that money right from my website? Because I could have set up the same thing and sent that there. Here's the reason why. Fiverr has more attention than I have of the people that I'm trying to reach. Now I could have very well just sold that through my website, no problem. But those three orders that I got, I would never have gotten if I wasn't on Fiverr. Those three orders that came after those other orders, I would have never gotten those orders, which we're talking about about $300 almost in orders. <laughs> So using Fiverr as a fulfillment place, basically a place where people can go and purchase what it is that I have to offer, I think is really smart of me to use it the way that I've done it. Because I'm not just using my website. I'm not just using Fiverr. I'm using them both. But whenever I promote what I do, like if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see I talk about this from time to time. But whenever I'm promoting what I do in social media, whether it be on Facebook, whether it's on LinkedIn, I'm giving my website address, probookpromo.com. That's it. I don't give the Fiverr gig address out because if they want it, they're going to purchase it based on what they see on that page, right? They're going to see what's on that page. They're going to see my examples. They're going to see the testimonials. 
And I take every testimonial that I get off Fiverr and I put it on that page in the way that I showed you. And so it's a part of a strategy and it's a part of a way that you're going to be able to build your Fiverr presence. But here's the key thing. I'm not saying I'm a voiceover artist. Obviously I do voiceover and obviously you can see I can do video production as well. So that's what I combine together, my two skill sets that I have to create a business around that. I'm not just saying I'm a voiceover artist or I can do all voiceover or whatever. And it's just like with you, whether it is that you have a Fiverr gig or not, but let's just say you have Fiverr gigs. You don't want just to have a voiceover gig. You want to have a gig that's very specific to a very niche audience. That is where the biggest bang of your buck is going to come from. Now, this is whether you're doing Samuel L. Jackson impression. You know, if that's the thing you do, that's the thing you do. And you, if you're good, you're going to make a lot of money at it. Whether it is you do romance audiobooks, romance novel audiobooks, that's very niche, not just audiobooks. Whether it is you do, um, uh, what is it, intros for podcasts. Whether it, uh, there's, you've got to pick something and be very specific about what it is that you're doing so that you can build the business around that. And no one can stop you from doing that. Now, if you're antsy about using Fiverr, if you're antsy about what people will say about you using Fiverr, get over that bull crap right now. Go make your money. Go make your money. Did you notice that I don't have this as a $5 gig? It starts at 60. It starts at $60. Did you notice my average selling price is $76 per order? Because I started it the way that I started it, and I didn't depend on Fiverr to build it initially, but I built it myself based on an audience that I had the awareness of and draw them and drew them to my Fiverr gig <clears throat> through my website. Because of that, I didn't worry about what it, I didn't, I didn't start it. If it never started at five. Now, full disclosure, it started at $35. Um, excuse me. I did a, uh, a special for like Black Friday and before Black Friday, and I made a lot of money on $35. And some of those people that didn't buy on Fiverr bought off of Fiverr. So I've made probably close to $2,000 with this, doing what I do with creating book trailers. You can price what, people are trying to figure out how to win on Fiverr. Like what's the strategy? There is none. Create your own. Try it. See if it works. The strategy that I use that think that I think helped the most is that I didn't use Fiverr to build it. Now Fiverr is building it for me and it's bringing awareness. Like you see, I'm not even a rated seller, but I'm showing up on the first page. I'm showing up in the top row. And all I have to do is keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to continue to, to do that. And I'll keep you folks aware of what it is that I'm doing. All right. I've done a lot of talking here for a lot of minutes. Any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Oh, there we go. Hudson Valley. Earl, quick question about your book trailers. Are you creating the entire video or just the VO for it? Is the script your own creation? Thank you for asking that question. Do, are you creating the entire video? Yes. And if you go to VO, mm, VO, if you go to probookpromo.com, that video that's at the bottom shows my entire process through video creation and everything. And is the script your own creation? Yes. The script is my own creation. It's full service. You said, basically what I have them, these authors send me over is a headshot and a a uh, uh, high res image of the book cover, right? And if they have any video they want me to use, I'll use it. But because of the services that I use, I have access to a ton of video, ton of what do you call it? Um, royalty free or whatever it is. So the creation, the entire creation is mine from the script. Now the scripts are easy because I'm all I'm doing is using the wording that they use on the back of the book. 
the back cover. It describes what the book is about. Now, I don't say it verbatim, but I go through and I word it the way that I want to word it. Um, did you guys that have been here for a while, were you able to hear the, the book trailer, the 30 second trailer that I played? Let me know in the comments. Were you actually able to hear that as I was playing it? The, uh, the book trailer, it was a, the 30 second book trailer that I showed just so you could see how it is that I create what I create. Somebody tell me um, in the comments that was here that saw that. Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so that is my entire creation. The only thing, um, I've made new gigs fairly recently and I haven't been able to make the different package deals. Really? Because I made the different package deals on mine. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, thanks for letting me know. You heard that too. All right, so from that, does anyone, anybody want to see what like the instructions I got? from the the client that ordered that book trailer does anyone want anybody want to see what they actually sent to me to allow me to create that because it was my own creation but i took what they sent me and made it my own anybody want to see that because i will i'll show it to you if, if if anyone's interested in seeing it so you can see the little bit of information that i got and then basically how i created what i created all right so let me share my screen once again Okay. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to share my screen here. Let me switch back to selling um, orders. Uh, active, new, delivered. Okay. Delivered. Chance. Oh, completed. That's what I wanted. Completed orders. All right. Here it is. All right. So let me go here and um, share my screen with you. Uh, share and share. All right. So now you're seeing this is the order. This was a $60 order because they only ordered 30 seconds. They wanted a 30 second video. And that was the video that all of you guys saw earlier. This is the order that I got. And you can see what I do. They get one revision. They can send me two images. Uh, there is included video footage, uh, background music, the voiceover, everything is included book cover, 60 bucks, right? All right, so now here, show the requirements. And you can see the communication we've had, which hasn't been a lot until the order was completed. All right. And you can see they gave me a five-star review. This is terrific. Thanks so much. Love your work and we'll definitely use you again. All right. So what were the order requirements that they sent me? I asked them questions. What genre is your book? Um, it's for women who want to level up their business. What type of feel are you going for? Serious, happy, dramatic, please explain. I think this is important, uh, a question to ask because you gotta know what they want. So she said, hope and inspiration. The book is about the 12 myths we as women tell others and the 12 truths that we need to cling instead. All right, now she sent me over three images, which is an image of her book, one little other image just with her name and then the back cover of her book. And this is the link to where she can get where people can get the book from. This is all this that she sent. This was it. This is what I had to work with, but I'm fine with that because I'm a creative son of a gun. All right. So now if we take a look, if you look at what's, I hope you guys can see this. I'm not sure if you can or not. Um, but I don't know if you can see this or not, but what I'm showing is the back cover of the book right now. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, so, but anyway, the back of the book says, how do successful women manage to break the glass ceiling, get paid their worth, grow their business and rock their personal lives? Do they believe they can have it all? Hell yes, they do. Are they super women? Hell no. They ain't. They just control their mindset and their mojo and thrive. All right. So I took, a, I took some of this to create my own. And so what I'm going to show you now, all right, so now we're back to this and you can actually see, okay, now you can see what I got and this is what I produced based on what she sent and on the back cover of the book and through the other images. So I'll play this one more time. 
Yes, Emma you can McQueen have it is the author of the book Go Getter. In the book, Emma reveals how successful women manage to break the glass ceiling, get paid their worth, grow their businesses, and rock their personal lives. Hell yes, you can have it all. Want more energy, confidence, and financial freedom? Get the book Go Getter by Emma McQueen. Available on Amazon February 2020 in paperback and Kindle. Okay. Whoops, didn't want to play that again. Stop the share. So now you can see how it is that I've done what I've done with the information that I get. And it is, you know, it, it is a definitely a creative process. Like, Picking the videos, the the videos that I believe go with the story, because that's what I'm doing is I'm telling a story of their book. Thanks, Anthony. I appreciate that. So I'm telling a story. And you can see all the ones I've done. If you go to my gig on Fiverr or whatever, you can see because one of the things that I like about Fiverr now that for whatever reason, every time I get a completed gig, they put that in the um, in the gig. Like you can scroll through and see all the stuff that I've done. It's like they do it automatically now. Um, and they put that there right after my main video. You just keep scrolling through on Fiverr and you can see everything I've done. I think that's genius. And I'm so glad that they've done that. But being able to be creative and tell a story from very limited information. Um, and it's not that it's limited. It's just that I have to be creative because the biggest part about here's the biggest part about what I do. The script development is not that big of a deal because I'm just taking and rewording some things from the back of the book. And I know that for a 30 second video, I only need about 57 words. That's all they can handle. I know that because I've done so much of this. So, um, oh, I'll answer this question. Nice job, man. On average, how long does it take you to create from start to finish? Anywhere from, a, from an hour to two hours, depending on me liking what I'm producing. I've got it down pretty much. And if you go to probookpromo.com, probookpromo.com, and you scroll to the bottom, you'll see my whole thing. And I even say it took an hour, 43 minutes to create this. And, but it was for, I think, a 60 second or longer video that I was doing. So here's where it comes into play. Knowing the platform that you use, I use about two different platforms, one of them being Adobe Premiere uh, to create or edit videos with. Um, and then we video as well. Then, like I was saying before, the script writing part is not that big of a deal. Um, but I think that comes from a skill set of doing something over and over again and being able to make it um, sound appropriate and knowing that I always have to say at the end, you know, get the book, blah, 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 from author, blah, 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 available on Amazon.com and paperback and Kindle. So those are words I always have to include. So I'm limited on the words that I can use, but just be creative. You can come up with a script. So that's part of it, but that's not the hardest part. Then um, selecting uh, images and video to go along with to tell the story. To go along with to tell the story. There was one in particular. I got to show you this. I'll, I'll show you this after I tell you this. Probably the hardest thing to do or takes me the longest is the music selection. That's probably the thing that takes the longest because when I hear it, I hear it. So I have to go through and scroll and listen and listen and listen and listen. But when I hear it, I know it. I'm like, that's the music that needs to go with this. The picking the videos of stuff is really not that difficult for me. What I'm going to do, let me go to another one of my pages here and I can share this with you as well. Um, let's just do this. Am I on this? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you something here to kind of explain what I mean and show you video selection and, and all that kind of stuff uh, for a couple of videos that I've done and how I tell the story based on the script that I write. I always write the script first, but then I tell the story. Um, Let's just see if I have that in here. Yes, I do. So I'm going to share this screen with you. I know this is this is a long live stream, but this is fun because I really want to give you some valuable information here. So I'm going to share my screen. All right. So what you're seeing is a bunch of the videos that I've created, right? Um, these are a bunch of the book trailers that I've created. So this is an interesting one. So I'm going to show this to you. And I, 
all of these, I develop the script for, I don't make them develop the script because they don't know what to say. So I develop the script and all I basically have them do is send me over their headshot and the, the image of their book. So here's one. Get the book, Devil's Sympathy, by author A. Shane Etter. Professor George Albert Frederick Drummond has been living a double life full of contradictions for over 40 years. See Drummond the images I'm using? a collector of serial killer memorabilia. The videos of the detector from England's greatest law enforcement departments, the National Crime Agency, hot on his trail while the international body count continues to rise. I tell Devil's the story Sympathy with pictures and images of A. Shane Etter. Available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. All right. So that was a 30, that was another 30 second ad. All right. What's another one? Um, one of the ones that I really liked. Uh, oh, this one. Take a look at this one. I'm telling the story with images, video, and that's it. And I think I only use like two different videos or maybe even one, but here you go. Get the book, Sister Nadine's Ways by author Felicia Brookins. Sometimes you gotta put folks in line. This is the mantra of Sister Nadine Simmons. She will test the sanity of a saint. Look at that and video. dare you to tell her that she ain't. The only person that can make her bend and almost break is her mother Ruth. The very That's person image from the author. passed along the gift of her ungodly ways. I came up with the video. Sister Nadine's Ways by author Felicia That's Brookins. Book cover. Available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. And there it is. So being able to tell the story, and obviously this doesn't just take a few minutes. I've got to look and I've got to select what it is that I want to do. And this is what I'm talking about. It's, it's all about business creation. It's all about business creation. And there it is. So what I've been able to do is take my voiceover skills and been able to take my video production skills, which both of them are halfway decent, you know? So I did a video yesterday or I did a live stream yesterday morning talking about, you know, there's certain levels that people are going after and they're missing the boat. Now I can't compete at a top level. And I, it's like, it's like, it's too much work to be a movie trailer guy. I could be, I could be the guy that, that has that voice for the movie trailer. But look at how much work I can get consistently doing book trailers for solopreneurs, for authors. And I tell people, look, decide where you want to swim, decide the, the ecosystem you want to play in, but just be aware and cognizant of the rules. Do you want to go? Thank you for the Radiant Mind Productions. I appreciate that. Just be cognizant of the rules. If you want to be the movie trailer guy or gal, well, guy, because I don't know any female movie trailer people, but there probably are. How much competition is that and how likely are you to get it? Right. But when I basically let that go, because everyone, here's the thing, everyone is going after the top echelon stuff and you're missing so much work. I chose an audience that I could have an end with and that I could get consistent work from. And that will grow over time. All right. I'll take one more question before I go. We've been on for a while now. Thanks so much. And everyone that's here, please give me, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate that. If you would give me a thumbs up right now. All right. So um, Patel Johnson says, nice work. Do they provide additional graphics or you just do the research yourself? I do the research myself. The only thing they ever send me over is a headshot and the book cover. Everything else I develop. Everything else I develop. I'll show you one more trailer. Um, the one that she, I'll show you one more trailer. And this was for the first order that I got off of Fiverr that came directly from Fiverr. So let's um, let me go back over here and I'll share my screen one more time with you. Let me get to the get to the video. And I'm taking a look here to see where it is. Ah, here it is. Um here it is. It's a one minute trailer. So I've got to share my screen. This was the first order that I legitimately got on Fiverr where someone found me, the guys in Ireland. And uh, so let me go here and gave me an outstanding, he bought, he purchased two, he purchased one, then he purchased another one right after that because he liked what I did so much. All right. So this one, again, he sent me over a headshot. That's it. A headshot and a book cover. 
but here's what I developed from a headshot in the book cover and the back cover. Get the book, Time Crack, from author William Long. Time cracks act as portals to other dimensions. They have existed since the creation of time and multiverse. And when one arrives during a storm at the newly discovered pyramid site in the Yucatan jungle, it's the beginning of a nightmare journey into another world for archaeologist Malcolm Kinross and his wife Lucy. I used testimonials that were in the book. Archie and Richard, along with their tutor Marjorie and Uncle Professor John Strawbridge, find themselves thrust into the same world of new arrivals, ancient warring tribes, and deadly enemies. Can they find a way to escape and return to their own world? Get the book, Time Crack, from author William Long, available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. So you can see, I pretty much have a flow and I'm always going to say available on Amazon, paperback and Kindle. Um, it's funny because I start calling myself the get the book guy because I start off most of my book trailers with get the book by author, blah, blah, blah. And that's how I start. And so that's always the start and the finish is always available on Amazon and paperback and Kindle if that's where it is. All right. Um, wow. Thanks for all the love, guys. I definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. All right, one more question and then I'm gonna go. I got some content to produce. So has this been valuable for you guys to see? Um, probably not only my process for what I did on Fiverr, but as well as you know some of the creation of the book trailers me explaining how I do that and how I created a business around that. Um, just let me know if it's been valuable to you. I would definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much, Patao, Pato or Patao. I forget. I don't know how to pronounce. Sorry. Um, I am the VO guy. Thanks so much. Appreciate you so much. I'll take one more question. If anyone does have a question. Yeah, it's funny. Radiant, uh, yeah. In a world, you know, but, but obviously I'm not the book. I'm not the movie trailer guy. I'm starting to be known as the book trailer guy. That's what I'm doing. So that's why, you know, people are saying they'll eventually say he's the get the get the book. He's the get the book guy. <laughs> Thank you, MJ Gray. Appreciate it. Um, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to share this anywhere, you know, around on social media, please share the link to this video. Um, if you think other people will find it valuable as well. Um, all right. It's been great. Thank you for sharing. And yeah, it's been super useful. Thanks, Virginia. I appreciate that. Um, really valid. Call me Pat. Okay, Pat. All right, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Radiant Mind Productions. Appreciate you. Appreciate all of you guys. Um, if you want, I still have a couple of the grind and don't quit thumbnails. Uh, thumb, I keep saying thumbnails, thumb drives. Um, I've got about 10 of these left. Um, if you don't know what this is, you can just go over to www.grindanddontquit.com. Um, and actually, the link's in the description, too. Um, you can pick one up. And I've got some extra bennies, um, extra special stuff for the people that get it. Oh, wow. Thanks, Anthony, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. That means so much to me. You have no idea. Um, but thank you so much for that super chat. Um, uh, Pat, uh, Pat is saying, as I have a deep voice too, I was thinking about finding markets related to my voice. Any hint, please. You got to go with your passion. And it's like, you've just got to go with what you, you feel in your gut. And that's all I do. Um, people, there's no strategy for this. There, there's, as far as building a business, there's no hack. There's no course you're going to buy. There's no coach you're going to hire that is going to guarantee you success. You will have to work your tail off. That's the hack. You're going to have to do more than anyone else is willing to do. You're going to have to go all in. You're going to have to stop making excuses for failure. You're going to have to commit to win. There is nothing else. And I'm going to tell you this. Don't buy one more course. Don't, buy, don't hire another coach. I don't care if it's me or anyone else, especially if someone's telling you they're going to charge you $5,000 to teach you voiceover. Bullshit. Bullshit. It is not going to help you build a six-figure business. It won't. 
The only thing that will is if you're willing to take the information and any $5,000 course, you know, you can find out in all of this stuff online because all they're going to tell you is this is how you do stuff on social media. This is how you do stuff with email. This is how you do stuff on LinkedIn. You can research that your freaking self. Believe in yourself, not any coach, not any course. I'm a coach and I'm a course creator. And I'm telling you, look, I don't want you buying my shit if you're not willing to do the work. Because I want to give you a lot of stuff, a lot of information. Everybody wants the information. No one wants to do what it takes to win, which is execute on the stuff and the information. So don't buy my stuff. Don't go to my website. Don't do anything unless you're willing to put in the work because nothing you buy will guarantee you success. Only you. I can help you as much as I can, but at the end of the day, you got to do the freaking work. Grind and don't quit. See you guys next time. Thanks for being here with me today. You guys are awesome. I love you. Have a great rest of your day.